Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at Mia Yim. So it's the first in line basic action figure that WWE had for her. I say they released the Retribution figure, I think, after her release. It's kind of silly. Plus, it has a mask on, so I don't know why you'd want that really. I mean, the outfit's kind of cool, I guess. But if you'd pick one, I'd pick this one. It's got her more traditional blue with the blue hair and no mask on. I'm not sure if that mask on the other one's removable or not. But this was first in line anyway. It looks pretty good. So we'll check it out. Unfortunately, I'm going to leave it in a box for now, but as you can see, Amazon, once again, doesn't care. So we have a bend here, a bad creases here, and then there's a tear. This is probably the worst thing, and then it looks really bad up here as well. But we'll take a closer look at this action figure in the box. Um, if I find another one, maybe cheap. I might grab it so I can unbox this one. We'll see, but let's check it out. Alright, here we have the medium action figure, series 113. So the face sculpt's not bad. It's kind of got her frowned up. Let's see smiling over here. Um, got her blue outfit, baddie on the pants, has the belt. Uh, did okay at the top, it's just paint it looks like. Uh, the hair looks pretty good. It looks like it has some flex in it. Um, so your standard basic figure with articulation. The arms look pretty good, got some definition there. Let's see if we can get a better look at the face. That was the first time in the line. And <laughs> creases and tears over here. So this series came with McIntyre, Cena, uh, Buddy Murphy, and Edge. So it's copyrighted 2020. Uh, might be, I know she was still active, I think, when this came out, but I'm not sure if she was active in WWE when the Retribution one came out. I don't think so. So, but again, I would choose this one over that one. I think this is more uh, the medium look, probably even now. Uh, she also streams on Twitch, which you can find her. I think official medium or medium, just look that up. Should be able, pretty easy to find. Uh, if, I, if I get to the link, I'll, I'll put it up here. And we'll post some moves of hers that she's known for. So if you're a medium fan and you can find a better box than this, I would grab it. This was under 10 bucks, so maybe that's why. I mean, these still should, like, state, like, damage package or something. That way I could decide maybe I wouldn't get it. I'll just buy, you know, one at full retail so I can have it hanging up. not looking messy. Like I said, I do try to keep the first time in line in the box. But this one may may come out just fine I don't know, maybe let's just do it now so this is a pretty, pretty rough kind of thing with Liv Morgan's Elite the box is really in bad shape I'm going to leave it for now if I find another one, then I might grab it because I do like keeping the first line in the box just because I, mean, I get the whole series of like the women's division and then move on from there, like the people I actually do like like back here Probably won't get anybody, maybe Edge. So thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.